first started building Foundation for Emails, we were actually uh, working with Alan, who's the lead engineer from Airbnb. And uh, one of his big things was he was like, this is really awesome, it's revolutionary. Although it really sucks we can't use this in our workflow because uh, they use Rails over there. We wanted to get a Rails version. Mm -hmm. uh, and also like people were asking for standalone like browser versions, so this really opens up the door for that. We built Inky RB. Uh, it is a Ruby implementation with zero dependency, with just core libraries. Uh, don't need to install the V8, which is on this, I hate the Ruby racer. It drives me bonkers. You can slot it right into your asset pipeline and it will parse Inky down into HTML uh, for Foundation for Emails compliant HTML content. We also it's packaged up Foundation for Emails as a Ruby gem. So what you can do is just install Inky RB. It'll automatically install as a dependency. I said there were dependencies. Actually, it does depend on Foundation for Emails because that's what it's compiling for. Then you just Put in your your includes and your template. Write inky inky templates with ERB embedded. Go parse it all in. Run it through the asset pipeline, and it just works works nicely with Premailer, which is Rails's version of inline. Okay. So here I just write inky ERB files. They've got the dynamic component in there. It's clean, legible inky content, and it compiles straight down automatically.